Hey guys, what's up? So today I will talk about the Java code, Java programming code, which is uh, how to find out whether the given number is perfect number or not, right? To find out, uh, we need to know the logic. So before to start, this is brief about me and I have my Facebook page and YouTube channel. So you can subscribe my channel and like my Facebook page, right? And your all source code will be uh, would be to these locations, right? So let me open my text editor and I'll give you some background. So let's say if you have to test the number 28 is a perfect number or not. So what you need to do is you uh, try to find out whether the sum of the modulus of the number is equal to that number. Then we call it as a perfect number. So what I'm trying to say that is when you say so I start, you know, uh, you can write a loop. I mean, or you can start a, start a division till half of the number because as we know that any number can be divided only till half. So 10 can be divided till 5. After 5, they will not be perfect division. Again, 12 can be divided till 6. After 6, it will not be a perfect division. Similarly, 18 will be divided till 9. After 9, it will not be a perfect division. So start from 2. When you say 28 mid, uh, modulus 2, uh, which is uh, equal to 0, right? Which is equal to 0 and run a, run a for loop, right? So that's how modulus we, we find out. So modulus is nothing but your remainder right here also modulus is nothing but your remainder so 2 4 is 8 and 1 is remainder so here also remainder is 1 right that's how you need to find out the modulus so modulus is nothing but your remainder now uh, let me write a method here let me write a method public void or uh, let me make a boolean method and then i will tell you the logic so write same method name is and i can just make a method in that i can supply a variable which when we call the method we can call them now uh, add return statement because our method return type is a boolean so we need to add the return statement here i will run a for loop right in for loop i can say that int i is equal to 1 i less than number by 2 because any number can be divisible till half and then i plus plus and inside that we can write one condition if the given number whatever number we have modulus i right is equal to is equal to 0 like the given number modulus i so depends on the i it becomes zero we can make one variable here int temp is equal to zero and here we can write temp is equal to temp plus i right and after this for loop we can write one conditions if particular number the number which we are supplying in the method if this number becomes equal to temp we can return true right saying that the given number is is perfect number right now we need to make a main method to test that so main control space bar and i need to care the object of this class So object has been created we need to call that obj dot is perfect number and let me call let's say 28 right and since it is a boolean uh, we can store this data to a variable so let me write b is equal to just place mouse over here and click on create local variable and then uh, we can print b right so if i run this it says that false right so the particular given number is is not a perfect number that's what that's what it's trying to say that so let me test for 20 it says that false so everything is saying that false right so we need to try to figure out so what is happening so let let is let's take the example of 28 when 20 what 28 comes here 28 divided by 1 is equal to is equal to 0 right 
yes then temp is equal to temp plus i which is means temp becomes 1 so we can print it here better we can print the value of temp here every time with every run what is happening the temp value right so if you run this so it's 1 3 7 and 14 right so 7 3 10 11 and 14 so which means it's if you if you add all that right if you all add all that this is not going to be 28 or we can just print outside the for loop so we can write here temp and now it's so when you look at this temp okay that was the final one temp so it becomes 14 so which means 28 is not a prime number uh, sorry is not a perfect number so what we are trying to do it here is we do a modulus when it becomes zero right at the at the point it becomes zero we are doing that temp is equal to temp plus i like the in beginning we have temp is equal to zero and then the moment it becomes modulus becomes zero which means first time when we divide by one any number it becomes zero so it will come inside that time the value of i is equal to one that's what we can see that here one then second time two so when uh, it becomes 2 so 28 modulus 2 is equal to uh, 0 yes remainder is 0 so it will come inside temp is equal to temp was earlier 1 so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 which means 3 then it will continue 4 it will not divide modulus 5 it will not 6 will not 7 yes 7 it will do 7 uh, 7 into 4 is equal to 28 so it will come inside and that time i becomes 4 so 4 plus 3 7 and then again when number becomes 14 so it will divide and it will come inside right uh, so when it becomes 14 uh, it will divide inside and it will come so 7 and plus 7 right it is it is going to be so i uh, the moment i becomes 14 it should go inside uh, but i think we are doing some mistake here so first time when it at 0 it come inside 3 it will come inside then it becomes 7 right it should come inside and uh, then at what point this is going to be 14 so 14 uh, this this is going to be 14 when uh, what happens is the i the value it is going to be big so we can how to understand that so there are, there are two points here we can print the value of i here when it goes inside at what are the conditions it is going inside so we can uh, print the value of i so that you know we can clearly understand okay let me write here i sorry and now print that we will understand okay so when i become 7 it goes inside right and after that after that it is not going inside at all but what what I believe is when I become 14 it should go inside so here is one catch guys we are starting from 1 when any for loop when we start with 1 it should be less than equal to right now because we need to we need to run till that number so now if you look at you know when I was 14 again it will go inside and it will uh, do a modulus when it will do a modulus if you add all i value so 1 plus 2 3 plus 4 7 plus 4 14 plus 14 so number is true so 28 is a perfect number when you make it this as a 27 right run this when you run this will come to its false because you know after 9 the number will not be divisible right so that's how we should we should debug the code and we should try to understand by putting the print statement and logic right so thank you guys thank you for watching this if you like this video like my video and subscribe my channel and this video will be uploaded to the same core java programming playlist thank you guys